Hey guys, it's Sunday. You know what that means? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. It's Sunday. It's just another day. It's easy that Sunday morning. Um, actually, it still is the morning. Uh, it's ten, almost ten thirty in the morning. Actually, uh, I was actually gonna start off more with a, a an L kind of thing where I'm like. You're like, oh my god, guys, hey, guess what day it is? It's Sunday! You know what that means? Absolutely nothing. Um, you know, just like go from like super excited sounding like to, to just kind of like, you know. Oh, hey, light! How's it going? Oh, <laughs> that kind of thing. But yeah, it's, it's Sunday. Uh, September the 5th already, Jesus fuck. Jesus fucking in my ass, in the butthole, with no lube, Satan watching. Like, what? Um. But yeah, so, I've actually got a video already going. But, uh, 46 minutes. I mean, I don't know why it's taking so long. Normally my WoW videos only take a couple minutes. But, whatever. So I think this will be the actual first upload because I'll upload this while that one's uploading and this one will be out you know, published before that one even gets close. Um, but yeah, so what are you guys doing today? Do you guys go to church or our church is not? Oh, wait. And again, yeah, church is probably our thing in right now because of the coof. Um. So what do you guys do on Sunday? Apart, you know, apart from watching my stupid ass. I mean, I just kind of sit here, make stupid videos, and then I act like a child and take a nap. Or uh, I'll go outside and go walking for a little bit. Speaking of going out, I am fucking hungry right now. I am hungry. I still have like a bunch of stuff down there in a box. It was all donated to me by my roommate with stuff that she wasn't eating. So I've got like fucking cornbread mix in there, some uh, stuffing. I think I've got a few cans of um, bacon soup. But yeah, a lot of, not a lot, but a few things. There's like veggie noodles. But, uh, anyways, so I've got tomorrow off, so, and Tuesday off. I don't know if that's going to be a normal thing, now, Because I'm supposed to be working Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> yeah. But the other day, that was just, I go in for like two fucking hours, and on Wednesday I'm going to have to be there till, you know, like I said, they're going to pick me up at like 7.30. So, I mean, fortunately enough, there's the gas station right there, and it's a pretty good deal with the pizza there. It's buy one, get one free, and it's only like two bucks. So, you can get four slices of pizza for, you know, four dollars, and they're fairly, I mean, they're not long, but they're kind of like those really, like, wide ones. And they have some really, really good uh, breakfast pizza. I mean, that's, have you had breakfast pizza? It's like a breakfast burrito, but just a different experience. Um... You know, in Texas and in the south, like, you know, more into Texas near the border, you got your breakfast burritos. And if you say anything ill about the breakfast burrito, you're stared at. Like, excuse me, did you just, did you just speak ill of our savior, the breakfast burrito? I, when I first got there, I was like, I I don't see what the big deal. It's a fucking breakfast burrito. Why do people revere this thing like it's a, a you know, living, breathing being? They, they were revering that thing as much as people were revering fucking Dr. Fauci. Although, the breakfast burrito is more reliable. And it doesn't lie. And it doesn't switch back and forth with its opinions. 
It has one purpose, one purpose only, to be eaten. But, um, yeah, the, the, the gas station I used to work at, it's called, um, Valero. And, uh, we had breakfast burritos in there. And I just, everyone made such a big deal, and I just didn't get the appeal. I mean, I, yeah, I get it. It's convenient. You've got the entire, uh, breakfast meal in, in, in a wrap, you know, in tortilla. You know, you have your eggs and your ham and your bacon and your cheese and your sausage and this and that. Yeah, it's convenient, but is it really to be like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever? I don't think so. But I know we've got breakfast burritos here, but mainly like uh, Taco Bell. I think Taco Bell has a breakfast burrito. Um, I think it's really the only place around here that has it. As for the, the fast, the, you know, the gas stations i don't think no we just have breakfast pizza we've got pretty much we've got speedway here and uh yeah they're so like over by my work by the factory the marathon station breakfast pizza uh speedway breakfast pizza so breakfast pizza is a thing uh, and that's only if they have that uh, uh, area for pizza, like the other two speedways. They don't have the little hot box thing to put it in, so it's you can't have it there. But the other one does because it's newer. But um, yeah, and breakfast pizza is pretty good. I mean, same thing. You got your bacon and your sausage and your eggs in the height. And, uh, quite an experience the first time I had it. I was like, wow, this, this is good. Despite the fact that I slathered it with, you know, grated cheese. It's like ranch. I was just like... I'm just covering it in ranch, guys. Just covering it in ranch. Huh. You know, it's like when you go to Olive Garden, I just want to say, you know, give me as much cheese as you're humanly able to give. Suddenly, like, it's just like this little bowl of pasta, and you've got a thing up to here, Parmesan cheese. It's just like, okay, just, you know, push it down a little bit, mix it up. But yeah, can I get a bowl of soup over here, please? I need to put some of that in the soup. Uh... <laughs> I really should do that. Like, just go to a place where, you know, like a subway. Sometimes they don't charge you for that stuff. If you if you kind of joke about it, I'm like, they'll do it and they won't even charge you. Kind of makes me wonder if, like, going to, like, subway, you like, as much meat as possible. Because that would be considered extra meat. <laughs> and they charge you for that. So I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. It's kind of like one of those secret menu things. Like, I know most of the places around here have secret menu items, which... I've always wanted to try. But the secret menu items were just basically, you know, like uh, the one at Burger King. I think it's just basically like uh, eight patties, or is it four? Is it four or eight? Like four or eight patties or something on a burger. It's just like, okay, you just buy like three, four Whoppers and just put them together. There you go. You got the secret item menu, the secret menu item. Or, um, same thing with Wendy's. I think there's one that's like, you know, a bunch of patties. Now, there's this place called Andy's. Hey, Andy, um, that has a challenge of a burger that's about, you know, but the patties are fairly small. They're really small patties. My friend's like, you could do that. I'm like, yeah, I know I could do that, but I don't want to because, you know, um, 
But Andy's is really good, though. It's like the 50s style, almost like Steak and Shake, which I love Steak and Shake. Um, but you go in, it's a very 50s, 50s-esque type of thing. You know, the checkered floors. And it, you, when you think of 50s diners or stuff like that, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, have like Marilyn Monroe and James Dean on the walls. You know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, they had a burger there. I don't know if they still do it. But it was pretty simple looking. I'm like, if I can destroy that. I mean, I don't know if it's a limited, like, uh, you have to do it within a certain time limit. Those are the ones only, those are the only types of things I don't like. Because I don't like to be rushed. I really don't. Like, I ate that six pound burrito but it took like 45 minutes because i was trying to enjoy it as well um but the like i said six pound burrito was a challenge but then people started using it as like a free meal so they just put it on the uh, menu for like 13 bucks which is pretty cheap for a burrito that fucking big you know you gotta think that's six pounds of food right there and they're selling it for 13 dollars that's that's a steal, honestly. They're practically giving it away. But I did it. And then I had a cookie, like, that size afterwards. And meanwhile, I'm drinking soda, which, you know, stomach even more. But they say it's also really good to drink soda because, you know, as you're eating, you know, you got the gas building anyway. And then, you know, you drink soda helps you burp. And that relieves gas from your stomach. And they say drink water, but... You know, then some people say drink soda because it helps you all that extra gas that's in your stomach. Because even though it's a gas, it still takes up space. Uh, it kind of stretches things out. Um, but yeah, Andy's is really cool. Like I said, Steak and Shake is really good too. Um, <laughs> I remember I went to we went to Denny's once, and because of my appetite. The waitress came over and um, she said, you know, so what can I get for you guys? And my friend ordered. And then I was like, you know, she came to me. She's like, what can I get for you? I'm like, one of everything on the menu. She was like, are you serious? I'm like, no, I'm not serious. I could, though. I could, but I'm not going to. One, because I don't have that kind of money. And two, I'm not going to do that to you. Although it wouldn't be doing anything to her. She basically would just have to tell the cooks one of everything on the menu. But I did have some fun with her. She was like, well, how would you like your eggs? You know, how do you want your eggs? You know, do you want sausage or toast or not toast, but bacon? I said, just surprise me. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, but you might not. I'm like, trust me, it's fine. Just surprise me. So it was, it was cool. But I said, one of everything. She's like, are you serious? It's like, yes, I am serious. One of everything. Now, I mean, that would be great for like a regular, uh, like a fast food place where it doesn't have many items. But then you go to like Denny's and you have, you know, you have all burgers and you have uh, sandwiches and you have eggs, and, you know, breakfast uh, dishes and you know desserts and shakes and you know all the sides that you know, they got fucking mozzarella sticks and stuff like that so one of everything that would be a lot the order and the cost would be huge um but that is something i've always wanted to do but uh i just don't have the exercise uh capacity to do that you know eating that much yeah they would just sit there and then suddenly i go from fucking 300 pounds to fucking 850 or something i don't know but working in the factory helps i mean even if i was to do what i did the other day every day wow even if i did what i did the other day every day uh i mean just going around and pulling heavy garbage bags, you know, bending, having to bend over, and twist, and turn, and push, 
you know, even that would be enough to get someone to lose weight because it's so fucking hot in that place. I mean, that alone, the, the, the heat alone is what helps you lose the weight. And, I mean, most of the stuff that's going to go first is the water weight. So, I mean, I, I don't know how much water weight I have, but considering how much I drink of these a day, I mean, I'm filling these up several times a day, four or five times a day. And I, you know, some days I don't even do anything. Like today, I'm probably not going to go out, but I'll still drink like four or five of these. Um, so I don't know how much my body is water weight right now. It's like, here, let me listen. Yeah, it feels like water right now. Uh, <laughs> you're like, what were you doing? I was shaking my stomach. You know how if you drink enough water, you can hear it sloshing around? Yeah, it's not like that. But, uh, yeah, water weight. So you'll either sweat it out or, you know, what have you. I mean, I remember the other, the other day, like, I, as soon as I started working, like, I felt this drip, a drop of sweat. I was like, that never happens. Even when I was working here before, I never got that. It was, well, I think it was mainly because it was, like, right here and got my eye. But <laughs> I'm just, like, trying to do something, and it's, like, dripping down and got my eye. I'm like, ah, it's so salty. There's salty badges of honor. Um, <laughs> but that place is hot, 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 hot. So, but obviously, I'm not going to just do what I did the other day every day because uh, there's only three people working there. Well, for my manager, she's like separate from the factory. Like she has an office in the factory, but she's not actually like part of that factory. It's kind of it, it's hard to explain. So, yeah, she can only hire three people now, but the payoff for that was our raise in pay. Before, when I worked there, I was making seven twenty-five, the bare minimum. North Carolina, the bare minimum wage, seven twenty-five. But now I'm getting paid nine, which is still not a lot for a factory. But I mean, it's better than bare minimum seven twenty-five, you know. So. Uh, you know, and, you know, it's, it's okay because, you know, we get our holidays off and we, I think we get like, still get, I, cause I asked her about it. Apparently we still get like two weeks off for, for Christmas, we get like a week off for Christmas. And then we, I mean, we don't go back until January 2nd or whatever. So it's like a week, week and a half or something like that, which whatever, um, we get 4th of July off, which is kind of stupid. I mean, I've never heard of a place giving 4th of July off. Whatever. But there'll probably be a lot more days off in the winter. Uh, they already had to let go a lot of people. Apparently, there was a lot of COOF problems. Uh, but in the winter, there's not as many contracts, which means... There doesn't have to be as many hours being used. Um, you know, less people. Usually, most days in the winter, you'll go there, like, the lights will be off on entire sections because they're shut down. It'll probably be the same. So, my hours may go end up being like what they were before, where I go in three days a week, but I'm, I'm going in at, like, 8 o'clock and leaving 8.15, you know? I mean, I don't want it to be like that, but I not like I really have a choice with any other job. You know, people were saying, oh, you can work from home, and it's like, I've not found one legitimate job that I can, you know, I can have that I can work from home. They're all like those scammy pyramid-type jobs, so I don't know what everyone else is fucking talking about. They're like, oh, and Indeed, and this and that. I'm like, yeah, that's where I'm looking. I can't find a legitimate fucking job that says you can work from home. So, I mean, I would love to be able to work from home, but I would definitely need a computer that's reliable. I mean, this computer does have a habit of just shutting down out of nowhere. We're not shutting down, but like a blue screen of death. Um, 
and then when it re like it you know figures out the problem and then it'll restart but then when it restarts it says no bootable device which means i have to you know power button and when it comes back on it's like i can't find what the problem was because the log for it wasn't saved so i certainly don't have money to go to a fucking repair shop and keep it there for a goddamn week so <laughs> So I would have to get like a good, like a laptop, no, not a laptop, but a desktop, something reliable, something that has coolant in it, not just a fan, you know, because those things that have the coolant going through it last a lot longer. Um, but yeah, I've tried to find, I just, I can't find any legitimate stay at home. I mean, my, I know they exist. My friend's, uh, my friend's friend has one, uh, but his hours are pretty long. I think he's working like 10 hours a day or something like that. I'm like, what? He's working 10 hours a day, and like, what time does he have off? It's like, if he's working every day. I mean, yeah, that's good money and everything, but I like my free time. You know, I like to be able to go outside and exercise, because if I'm going to be sitting there all day in a fucking chair answering calls or whatever and and not being able to exercise i want time to be able to go out and and, and you know walk around and, you know <clears throat> so but i forget what he does i know he answers phone calls and stuff like that but but that's another reason why i would need another mic but um but my the the new webcam I ordered it has shipped and apparently it's still only going to be here fifteenth. But uh, like I said, the mic on it seems okay. I mean, it seems like it would be better than this twenty dollar thing. I don't want to say how much the webcam costs, but it cost me a pretty penny. Tell you that much. Well, for me, it, it, it's a it was a large amount since I'm not fucking rolling in dough right now. But if it's one of those things that can help people find more excitement in everything in my videos and subscribe and all that, then do what I have to do. But, um, yeah, it says the 15th. My boots are going to be here Thursday, apparently. Can't wait for those, because I'm, I'm tired of going. I, like, yesterday, I was walking around. I was, like, everything that I was stepping on was just, like, right in my foot right into my foot i'm like of course of course it was ridiculous and the heat you know I, I i power walked to the grass because i could not stand the heat anymore it's also hard like the pathway it's like has fucking spider webs on it so you gotta like take a stick and just kind of like walk and swing the stick around because you know, nighttime, you can't see where those webs are. And the last thing you want is a face full of web with a fucking spider crawling on your face. So you gotta take, take a stick and just keep swinging it around so that way the stick knocks the web away. Which is funny because you have the people in, like, the golf carts going down that way, so I can only imagine what happens with them. Because I'll go down there and the webs will be gone. I'm like, well, I'm guessing someone in the golf cart managed to get the spider webs away. Along with a face full of spider. Uh, you just drive, you're like, ah. but, uh, anyways, wow, that was various amount of topics, I think, but, uh, yeah, that'll probably do it for me, so anyways, that's it for me, you guys know the drill, I'll see you guys later, bye guys.